Welcome to Seller University. Here we will explain how to configure settings for search keywords to be displayed when buyers search for a product. First, let's explain tips on configuring search keywords. Many buyers on Amazon use search to look for products. For buyers with a clear buying objective, multiple keywords are used to narrow down the product. For example, searching with hat gets 250,000 hits, but searching with hat, kids, sun protection narrows it down to 3,000 hits, making it easier to find the intended product. It is important to configure search keywords that correspond to the product's objective and features. Keywords registered that have nothing to do with the product become noise for the search results that interrupt buyers when searching for a product. For example, if the keyword ribbon is registered for a heart necklace, it will be included in the search results, creating difficulty for the customer to choose a product. Only input corresponding keywords that are related to the product. Next, let's explain the data entry rules for search keywords. There are several rules for entry of search keywords. Five items are possible for entry of each product's search keywords. In configuring terms and separation of terms for search keywords, use half-size spaces. If they are not separated with the half-size space, it will not be recognized as a term. Regarding terms to register for search keywords, product names and brand names are considered search targets. Therefore, it is not necessary to register them as search keywords. Also, there are items of product information that are not subject to keyword searches from the Amazon site search box. The product description is mostly included as search subjects outside of Amazon, such as search engines. But with the search system within the Amazon site, the product description is not a search subject. The process of registering search keywords is, after logging into Seller Central, click Manage Inventory from the Inventory tab. Then, click the Edit Description of the product you wish to edit. When the editing screen appears, configuration can be set from the Keyword tab. Furthermore, there are search keywords that cannot be registered. Number 1. Words symbols, and keywords that have no relation to the original product. 2. Product names or brand names resembling those of rival companies. 3. Trademarks without third-party usage permission. If such inadequate keywords are registered, the product may be deleted from the catalog. Also, keywords related to crime and violence and expressions that in general harbor significant disgust are prohibited from registration. Also in this case, if the registration is confirmed, take note that the product may be deleted without warning. In the following, let's introduce frequently asked questions from sellers. Here's the first frequently asked question. I can't think of good search keywords. Is there a good way to do this? The answer to this question is, buyers search for products with various objectives and purposes. Try configuring the settings with the product's purchase objective, purpose, attributes, selling point, etc. Also, you can utilize Amazon's search prediction function. This search prediction function displays related keywords for the keywords often entered in the search box. Let's continue with the next question. If a compound keyword is registered, is each of the words which make up the compound a search subject? For example, if pillowcase is configured as a search keyword, would pillow and case be search subjects? The answer is, it would not be a search subject. In order to be displayed in search results when searching using pillow and case, each word, pillowcase, pillow, and case need to be registered. The third frequently asked question is, hiragana and katakana, full-size and half-size characters. 
uppercase and lowercase letters. Should both be registered for each? To answer this question, it is not necessary to register both. Register either hiragana or katakana. The same applies to full-size and half-size characters and uppercase and lowercase letters. As an example, if hasami is registered in hiragana, hasami for both hiragana and katakana will be displayed in the search results. Also, if smartphone case is registered in full-size characters, both the full-size and half-size character smartphone case will be displayed in the search results. If iPhone is registered using the alphabet, both uppercase and lowercase iPhone will be displayed in the search results. We hope you now have a better understanding of search keywords. Please use this to expand your future business. Thank you for selling on Amazon.co.jp.